Hey folks, Ray from DCRainmaker.com. I'm out here doing a bit of an open water swim, trying out the new Marlin system. That's this doohickey on my head right there. So we got two different pods. We've got this back pod right here, uh, which I presume is battery and the uh, GPS portion of it. And then I have this side pod here, which is a speaker. Uh, so if I go nice and close, and sorry for the kind of random shot of my head, um, you'll hear it saying GPS sinks. So it's actually fairly loud. You can even hear it underwater. I don't know if you better try it. Let's see. So, who knows if you could heard that or not, or hear that. Um, anyways, it's going to tell me my distance as I go swim around this cove here. Uh, it's also going to tell me my time, uh, and I have a route programmed into it. So in theory, it's going to tell me if I'm on track for that, and then whether to go left or right for that as I'm going along. This isn't the first technology to do this. Uh, there's another one, uh, and a pair of goggles I tested a few years ago, and that allowed me to see like a LED LED display in there. Um, this is kind of nice in that it's audio. That was nice and that it was visual, so you can go both ways. I like on this particular case, this has buttons. Uh, so if you look at it more closely, there's some buttons here on the bottom, buttons on top there. Uh, so I, I love buttons, I love clarity. Um, one of my problems with open water devices, a lot of them have passed, like the fitness trackers and things like that, is that they were just a bleeping bleepity bleep to use in the water because you couldn't figure out whether they're on or off. So you go out for a long swim, you'd have no idea. It drove me absolutely effing really pissed off about that kind of stuff. So um, probably because when I go to test things, I waste all this time doing this, and I find out that it didn't work at all. Uh, so that's why I hate those devices. Uh, this one I like. I can hear it. It's crystal clear that it's it's running or not running. If I start, it tells me it started or stopped. Uh, it's great. If I'm swimming every 50 meters, I've configured it. Tell me the distance. I can configure that for any distance I want, but that's just the distance I've chosen. With that, I'm going to go for a bit of a swim here, uh, and then we'll look at the app afterwards on the phone and, and see how things looked. So with that, let's go. Okay folks, we finished up the swim and um, see how these goggles, or these, uh, not the goggles, but the uh, Marlin system worked and I'm really impressed with it. Uh, so the way it kind of works is that every time uh, or as you're swimming along, it'll go ahead and tell you to go, you know, 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, and that's the direction that you should be traveling uh, based on the route that you predefined. Uh, and it's actually kind of handy, like it's really simple and easy to understand while you're swimming as opposed to left and right. Um, you're not sure how much left or how much right. In this case, it's really crystal clear. Um, and the way it works is it has a uh, compass inside of it. You calibrate the compass before the swim, uh, and I did it last night, and then it goes in and tracks it just like there's a compass on a wristwatch or anything else like that. Um, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and look at the track uh, in line or online once you get inside. Okay, now I really wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what the map looked like after my swim, but unfortunately it didn't seem to download right. And I'm not really sure if it's just a bug with the app or whatever the case was, but this did track the entire time and it was quite happy. Um, but something's wrong with this prototype app. It's still, you know, four to five months away from the release, and so crap like that happens. Instead, I'm going to show you how to do route creation, because that's just as cool, and it's really easy to do. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this on, just so you can hear this. I actually don't have to do it to turn it on, but I'm going to do it anyways. I have to do it to download it, though. So that's turned on now, um, and in a moment it'll probably ask and say it's connected. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and create our route. So I go to Navigation here, and I'm going to create a new route. Um, and I'm going to go and it's just telling me I can only do eight points in my uh, demo waypoint. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and find somewhere to swim. Um, I'm going to go back to Ibiza because I know exactly where that was. Uh, so again, it's really easy here on the map just to kind of, you know, move around and, and go as you please. Uh, let's see, there we go. That's where I was before. And here I am on the satellite view and I just turn the camera over. Um, now, you can switch to map view, but the problem with doing that is then you really can't see exactly where you are. Uh, satellite view I can, so I'm going to go down here, I'm going to start my swim right there from the dock, uh, and then I just simply tap the points I want to go to next. So really rather simple, I'm going to go swim over to there, then I'm going to go across to this side here, and then I'm going to keep on going all the way around uh, just to there, kind of a straight shot, uh, right along that edge there, uh, and then finally we'll go across to this side. And then we'll zip down the coast, back in six and seven and eight. So there I am. It's really as simple as that. At this point, I can give it a name of any sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in my Ibiza 
There we go. And hit OK. And it's done. And now it shows up as my visa right there. Um, and so I'm going to select this course. I'm going to select this course here. So that's the one I want to choose to send to the unit itself. Uh, and at this point, I should be able to hit set. And we'll see if it's actually already talking to this. And this may have turned back off here. So let's just turn it back on. There we go. So now it's on. Make sure that it sees my devices. There we go, Marlin connected. So now I should go back in open water mode. Um, the router is set for navigation. I can go into options. I can change all these different options here that I want to uh, in terms of the feedback, audio feedback that I get, the report interval from 50 meters all the way up to five kilometers. Um, honestly, if you're swimming and you only want to hear it every five kilometers, this probably is not the device for you. For me, I like 50, 50 meters, just kind of a nice easy number to look at or hear. And hit set and listen really carefully. Um, and I'm going to put this up near the microphone and you can hear uh, the commands as soon as I go to... I just need this perch right here. So this is the putting up behind the back of the mic, and here we go. Configuration received. Configuration received. Waypoint received. So there you go. Um, this is the audio piece right there. Uh, oops, sorry, you can't see that. This is the audio piece right there, and it just went ahead and sent that uh, to the pod via Bluetooth Smart, and then from there uh, it transmitted it out on this so you can hear it. So with that, that's just a quick overview of things. Definitely hit the post down below to see more about this. If you happen to see this video in the next 22 or so, or so hours, then you're good to go. Um, otherwise, our Kickstarter campaign is closed, but I suspect I'll probably do pre-orders or something like that uh, for delivery roughly after Kickstarter, which starts to ship in January. With that, thanks for watching. Hit that like button down below as well as the subscribe button so you can go ahead and get the latest sports technology video goodness as soon as the products come out. Um, there's a ton of new stuff coming out, especially over the next couple weeks, so you don't want to mess out there. Have a good one.